everyone! Welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. So today we'll be making a vegetarian dish, mushroom with bok choy. If it happens to be one of your favorite Chinese dish, please stay tuned and we're gonna go over it step by step so that you can make it at home. All right, so first let's look at the ingredients. So to be able to cook mushroom and bok choy, of course we need to buy bok choy and mushroom. Uh, most of the times I go to the local Asian stores to get the bok choy. Of course, um, you need mushrooms. Here I bought um, the Monterey Delicious Healthy Mushrooms, but you can use any types of mushrooms you like. And also, in most of the Chinese dishes, we use green onion. But if you don't like green onions or onion, onions in general, you don't have to put it in there. So the traditional dishes, um, we actually put a lot of garlic and some ginger. So because I'm not a fan of garlic, so here I'm just using garlic powder. But if you like garlic, for these amount of mushrooms and bok choy, you can put four little garlics or three or if you really really hate it you can put like half of a garlic but because I hate it instead I use the garlic powder and also for ginger we use ginger in most of the cookings uh, because this time I didn't buy ginger from the grocery store so I'm replacing it with the ground ginger powder but just letting you know that those powders, the garlic powders or brown gingers, they're not even half as strong as the fresh garlic or ginger. So if you like those two ingredients, please, please buy the fresh ones. It's gonna make your dish taste super good. But don't put too much of ginger when you cook. All right, so other ingredients, um, to season it, the main seasoning we use is their sauce. But this is the brand that I really, really like. Okay, so look for this little panda when you look for the oyster sauce. The oyster sauce is very important for this dish. But other than that, we also use sesame oil. You can pick any sesame oil you want. If you like spicy food, this is the brand that Chinese people constantly go back to. This is the hot oil that we always eat when we're little. So this brand has been there as long as I've been living in this world. But don't use too much because it's really spicy. And it has salt in it, so if you put this, I would avoid the salt. Finally, if you like um, not being spicy, use this. This is called the Sichuan Red Popcorn Flavored Oil. So what it is, it increases the numbness of the the spice in your dish. So if you like the non-bean spice, like you when you go to Sichuan food, get a use a little bit of this one, but please, please, please don't use too much. Even if you like it, don't use too much because it does have a very strong non-bean taste, so most people don't get it. So if you don't like this, eliminate this one. So just look at the other ingredients. Alright, so now I have chopped up the green onions. Let's make the sauce. The first thing we're going to do is to put the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Somebody just got in. Okay, so this is how much oyster sauce we're going to put. Because we put oyster sauce and it's salty already, so I'm not going to put any salt anymore. So this is all the sodium we're going to get today. Alright, the next thing we're going to put is oil. Hot oil! Somebody just got back and dancing with the hot oil. Alright, so if you don't like hot oil, you don't have to put in there, but because personally I like it, so I just put some, just some of the chili peppers. But you can also put um, dry chili peppers in it. It might taste better because it's fresh, but I know it's hard to really control the amount of chili pepper to put. Some One time I put like 10 chili peppers, almost killed BJ Wan. So I'm just gonna put some chili first. Alright, 
If you notice, I didn't put oil in it. Instead, I actually put dry chilies in it. That's because we're gonna use the actual hot oil to cook. So that's why I don't want to put additional oil in this thing. The next thing we're gonna put is the garlic powder. If you like fresh garlic, you can just dice up some fresh garlic and put in there because I don't, so instead I've been putting the garlic powder. Ginger. So if you like ginger, want to put ginger in it, please just put one slice of ginger because ginger has a strong taste. So just a little bit. Then sesame oil. Sesame oil actually gives it a little bit taste at the end. So I'm gonna wait until the end to put the sesame oil in. So just so you know that don't put the sesame oil in the sauce yet. So about the Sichuan peppercorn oil, because it's oil, so I'm gonna use it to cook instead, so I'm not putting it in the sauce. All right, so as you can see right here, the sauce is actually not watery at all. Right? A lot of times what the restaurants do is you put water and mix the water with cornstarch to make the consistency of the sauce. But because I want to be a little bit healthier, so I don't want to put the cornstarch in it. So the final product may not have exactly the same consistency. But just letting you know that by putting water and cornstarch, you will have the consistency of the restaurant sauce. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of water in it. I'm gonna use a spoon to mix it up. See, now the sauce is really watery. And this is when you put cornstarch in it. I know it's not very intuitive, but it's if you want to make the consist, if you want to achieve the consistency of the sauce in the restaurant, use warm water and put cornstarch in it. But just to be a little bit healthier, we're not putting that today. All right, so now the sauce is ready, the green onions are ready, and the mushrooms and bok choy are washed. We're gonna go ahead and cook them. All right, the first thing we're gonna use is this cooking spray. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then coat the whole cooking pan. Turn on the stove. I have a little bit of the um, hot oil from the package, so I'm gonna use the hot oil from the peppercorn oil. If you are not used to it, don't use it. It has a very strong taste if you don't like it, but I personally like it. And BJ Wong doesn't like it, but too bad, he's not the cook. So you wanna wait a little bit until the oil inside the pan is hot enough, and then you're gonna put in the diced or chopped uh, green onions. So just making sure that when you put it in, if there's any water inside, just be careful, don't get burned. So, I'm just gonna do this. See the hot oil is so red, and I can already smell the hot oil. So again, if you don't like spicy food, don't put hot oil. Just use a little bit of regular oil so that your um, dish has some sort of um, flavor from fat. You know that the onions are cooked. The color has turned a little bit. So first, we're gonna put the sauce in. And because you have oil in the pan, it's very possible that you burn yourself when you put liquid in. So what I do is hold the lid with one hand and use the other hand, if you can see right here, to dump the water, to dump the water. See, the problem is when water and oil, they get together with heat, 
it's very likely that the oil won't splash and then you might get burned. So this way, you're using the lid to protect yourself. See? We're making, so now we're making the sauce. And it only takes five seconds. So the next step, I've already washed my mushrooms. I'm gonna put the mushroom in. Why you don't want to put the bok choy first is because if you put bok choy first and it's overcooked, the crunchiness of the bok choy is going to get lost. So you want to cook your mushrooms first, make sure your mushrooms are soft, and then put the bok choy in it to keep the crunchiness of the bok choy. Once you've noticed that the mushrooms, they started to shrink, and that's the time when you put the bat choy. I already washed the bat choy I'm gonna use. So how do you know if the bat choy is ready? So as you can see that the leaves already become very soft, and they changed the color already. And you can actually get them out right now. Some people prefer their vegetables to be softer, so I will give it about one more minute. But it shouldn't take too long to cook that bok choy. So if you look closely, you can see that the bok choy, the bok choy have shrink. The mushrooms have shrunk. It's a very nice color combination. And I think we're ready. So turn off the stove. Um, sometimes if you think maybe the vegetables are not ready, ready yet, but they're kind of good already, you can turn off the stove because the heat from the pan will still cook the vegetables for another one or two minutes. So you want to keep the vegetables in the pan for one or two more minutes before you dish them. Want a nice circle of greens. Of course, if you're just eating by yourself, you don't have to care about that. But just to look nice. a mess on the plate, it is actually okay. We're going to secretly wipe it off. Mushroom and bok choy is ready. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Let's look at the final product. So, if you try this at home, please comment down below to let us know how it goes. Again, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.